Hello, 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 and welcome to this edition of the Jolly Heretic. Now, today I would like to talk about the collapse of the Keystone Bridge in Baltimore, which happened the other day, uh, and how, unfortunately, a lot of people who are um, conservative and who are based when it comes to various important questions are putting out uh, really rather mid-witty takes on this issue, and I want to look at why that is the case. Before I do so, could I please, please, please implore you to subscribe. Subscribe here here at YouTube, and most importantly, subscribe over on my Substack, stack, thejollyheretic.com, uh, where you can get all of the spiciest content that I dare not put on YouTube, where you can get in-person interviews, and where, if you like my work, you can support me for as little as the cost of a pint of beer a month. So please go and do that. Now, the collapse of the Keystone Bridge. The obvious um, thing to say, well, the obvious two things to say are, one, uh, we have declining IQ, uh, therefore, this happened because as you have declining IQ, you get more and more people making lots and lots of stupid mistakes. And when the bridge was erected, uh, perhaps it never occurred to the, the builders that anybody would be stupid enough to crash into it uh, and, and, and cause it to collapse like a load of dominoes. Uh, and so that's the reason. Or two, you try to argue oh, it's to do with diversity and inclusion and that kind of thing. And oh, it must be that that's the reason why the person was made the captain of the ship and therefore the sh he crashed. Now, th there are serious problems with this argument. One, uh, it, it, is, it is simply a matter of, um, of, of seeing what you expect to see. Um, there, yes, we would expect to see lots and lots of people making increasingly stupid mistakes um, because of declining IQ, but that doesn't mean this is an example of one. There could be all kinds of reasons why that ship collapsed. There could be some sort of the equivalent of an autopilot that, that didn't work properly because of some sort of unforeseen malfunction. Um, as society becomes more complicated and as society becomes more technological, uh, as it becomes as uh, more complicated, it becomes the, the, the systems become basically weaker. Uh, the systems become more subject to problems happening. And so it could be um, an example of that effect. Thirdly, you have more and more and more people moving about, more and more people travelling, and therefore accidents are more likely to happen for that reason as, as, as well. And, and, but most importantly, and I can't stress enough, that as a system becomes more complicated, it is, it is, it is more subject to little things going wrong. It's essentially um, uh, you know, weaker. Um, and uh, and, and it, it, it could be, as I say, that there was some sort of autopilot that turned off. In fact, there's some evidence for that, and he had to try and negotiate it. So we, si we simply can't say that just because there is one individual example of something that is congruous with the hypothesis that we are uh, decreasing in IQ, i.e. Um, uh, an, an accident, this is necessarily caused by increasing stupidity by, as it were, a competency crisis. Um, secondly, we certainly can't say uh, th that this is caused by diversity and inclusion and, 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 and whatever. We have no evidence that, uh, that that is the reason why this particular captain uh, was, was appointed. Um, and so in both cases, you are engaging in confirmation bias. Um, and, and, and considering that these kinds of accidents you know, happen throughout aviation history, that you have accidents and things going wrong, and it happens throughout the history of, uh, of shipping as well, um, it's not, in, it, in some ways you could argue that it's the, it's the complex systems themselves and those systems going wrong in some way, um, which can cause accidents. And it's more likely to be that in this kind of case, just crashing into a bridge, than that oh, it's a stupid person that's been appointed a captain uh, or, or whatever it happens to be. So that it is a very simplistic take. And it is an example of confirmation bias to assume that every time you see some kind of accident like this, it must be uh, a result of declining IQ or it must be a result of uh, diversity and inclusion, which basically is a means of bringing about declining IQ in, in, in high positions. Um, these things simply don't follow. Before I continue with the red pills, I must quickly remind you of a white pill. Whatever disasters we are going to witness, the world will keep spinning because the conservative and the religious are having more children than the progressives, meaning that eventually all spiteful mutants will be bred out of the gene pool and society will function once again like it used to. You've obviously heard this argument before from me and I've developed it in my book, The Past is Future Country, The Coming Conservative Revolution with my co-author, Joe A. Rayner Hills. You should definitely read that book, but if you haven't got the time to read it, I can offer you a shortcut. 
There is, in fact, a very good summary of our core arguments available, which you can listen to in just under 20 minutes on Learjant.com. Learjant is a new app where you can read and listen to short summaries of all the key arguments of many based books. These are all under 25 minutes long, so you can finish the whole book while you're out and about, in the gym, or on your way to work. Now, you might have heard of some competitors with a similar offer, but the big difference is that you will never find my books or books as the bell curve on these platforms. Learjant, on the other hand, is a platform run by based people who specifically want you to know about my research and those of others like me. So go on to learjant.com now and sign up my promo code TJH for a 10% discount. This begs the question, though, how can we be in a situation where we have declining intelligence and we know we have declining intelligence on so many measures? We have declining IQ and we have declined in all of the correlates of, uh, of IQ, such as uh, reaction times are getting longer and per, per capita major innovation is declining and all of this stuff. So how can that happen? And yet we are better able, we are increasingly able to do quite brilliant and amazing things, uh, most recently in terms of AI or uh, potential space travel or whatever it happens to be. Isn't this a contradiction? How can that possibly be the case? Well, no, I don't think so. I don't think it's a contradiction. And I looked at this in a book that I wrote many years ago called The Genius Famine with my colleague Bruce Charlton. We should conceive of the, the Industrial Revolution, the massive breakthroughs of the Industrial Revolution, which were almost certainly heralded by the fact that we had extremely high average intelligence at the time, and therefore our smart fraction, our 95th percentile, our geniuses, were particularly brilliant, that allowed us to build up capital. That set off a massive, massive, massive explosion of inventions. And each of these then led to more inventions and more inventions and more inventions and more inventions. Now, even though intelligence started to go into decline by about 1900, this did not bring about a competency crisis. Indeed, we continued to innovate more and more and more and more because with the, invent with, with the capital that we already had, um, it all, um, it, that capital could continue growing, as it were, with only minor tinkering. So as long as our, um, our decline in intelligence was out paced by the consequences of our ability to engage in minor tinkering, as it were, in, in, in mini innovations, and to, which would occasionally um, set off a series of explosive, massive innovations, uh, as long as our decline in intelligence was outpaced by the growth um, in, 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 our, in, in, in technology based on previous innovations, then of course, despite the fact that we are going to get on average less and less competent, we are going to get more and more and more technologically advanced. So it's not a contradiction. And similarly, th th what we would expect is that the next... Are you ready for the future of the West? <laughs>